So let's go in a very light touch to a particular pressure point and suddenly you get a dramatic result. Now that's no different than a homeopath giving a remedy and suddenly you get the disappearance of a headache or a pain just goes away. It's like, how's that possible with a nothing, with an almost nothing? <laughs> so we have a living anatomy, but we also have a living physiology. So not this dead physiology that I had to study of chemistry and physics and, you know, it's really biochemistry. It's dead. There's nothing about life in there, but a living physiology emerges out of the romantic movement. It also emerges out of uh, Rudolf Steiner's anthroposophy, and it emerges out of Wilhelm Reich's work with orgone energy. And if we put all that together, we get the emergence of a rational, true scientific system of natural science, but now natural science that includes Aristotle's Natura Naturans, the essence. It doesn't throw away the form because you still have to understand how the muscles and bones and you know how things move and you still have to understand a certain amount of the chemistry. But we can now introduce all sorts of concepts that have to do with life, not the dead part of us, but the living part of us, what we could say more the etheric body and the astral body and the mind. And so that's why this revolution, this what I call the second scientific revolution, is so important, so monumental.